Hello Marvelites, I'm Lorraine Sink and you are watching The Watcher. She is the most worthy of all superheroes. Let's take a look at the all new Thor by Jason Aaron and Russell Dodderman hitting stands this October. For reasons yet to be seen, Thor as we know him will become unworthy and the best woman for the job will take up the mantle. After all, it doesn't really matter what Thor might be on the outside, but who is worthy. Let's take a moment to remember Beta Ray Bill, shall we? Now let me tell you why this new Thor is so Freya exciting. Thor is one of the oldest, most powerful, and most popular comic book characters of all time. By not changing the character's name to Lady Thor or She Thor or Thorette, you are thereby imbuing that equal power, the power of Thor in this case, to a woman. Historically, there has been greater representation of male characters within comic book publishing in general, something Marvel is working diligently to improve with new titles like Storm, Black Widow, She-Hulk, Captain Marvel, and even all new characters like Kamala Khan as Miss Marvel. However, it remains important that this woman is Thor, in a different way than even launching another new female character solo title. Thor is a symbol of power, of strength, of import. It is meaningful to those of us who do not see our faces on every page. It is meaningful to those who don't always feel that the world will give them the opportunity to wield the power. It definitely means something to me and I am incredibly excited for this book. So now on to big reveals. New pages from Thor number one by Jason Aaron and Russell Dodderman depict Odin's son as he reaches for Mjolnir, who heartbreakingly will not return to him. The poor god is so despondent that he must be comforted by his mother Freya. Odin's son has a new look as well, originally designed by Asad Rivik and illustrated here by Dodderman. We glimpse our fallen hero, armor free and quote, pretty bummed out. It looks like he's taken cape notes from the Hope Summers collection. Our favorite two-faced elf, Malekith, has also gotten an update honoring both his original design by Walter Simonson with a new modern flair. But of course, the biggest design of all is our new Thor. Though her name and face have yet to be revealed, our new goddess of thunder looks more than ready to wield the power of Thor. Look out for your first glimpse at our new heroine in Thor number 25, hitting stands September 17th, and of course, don't miss Thor number one in stores this October. And now it's time for the Marvel Minute where I give you 60 seconds of the most worthy news in the Marvel Universe. Marvel's Agent Carter has recruited two new cast members. Chad Michael Murray of One Tree Hill will play SSR agent Jack Thompson, while Enver Jokai of Dollhouse will portray Agent Daniel Souza. Both gentlemen will meet Agent Carter while she takes on a new role at the Strategic Scientific Reserve in New York City. Use the Force, Luke, to pick up the oversized omnibus Star Wars The Original Marvel Years, collecting Star Wars number 1 through 44 and annual number 1 from its original 1977 Marvel run. Get it or you're a scruffy looking nerf herder. Great comics hit stands this week. Get ready to crawl on the edge of Spider-Verse number 1 with Spider-Man Noir by David Hine, Fabrice Sapolsky and Richard Eisenhoff. Stimulate your brains with Empire of the Dead Part 2 Number 1 by legendary filmmaker George Romero and artist Dalla Bortalagic. And take your poison with Death of Wolverine Number 2 by Charles Soule and Steve McNiven. All these comics and more hit stands this week. What are you guys most excited to see in Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron? What comics are you looking forward to most this week? Tell me down below and I will see you guys next time, true believers. I am Lorraine Sink for Marvel your universe. And if you're not watching The Watcher, then you best have an excuse. The Watcher, yeah, it's always watching you. Marvel, your universe.